The hardest part about brain cancer isn't actually the chemo, the surgery, the radiation. The hardest part is the diagnosis, finding out that you have brain cancer. I fell off a bar stool at a coffee shop in downtown Detroit. They thought I had either had a seizure or um, a stroke, and I was just laughing. I was like, I'm fine, until I stood up, and then I didn't feel fine. Dr. Snyder called me. I hadn't met him yet. He was very calm, but I was very shook. And I hung up with him, and I actually went out on the porch, and I screamed. I screamed like bloody murder, super drama, not cool. I was like, I feel too good. I'm too healthy. I thought with brain cancer, you would have like bad headaches, and you'd be like feeling horrible. I was fine, or so I thought. The brain surgery was early October 2016, before the election. Max radiation, the full chemo cycles started in January 2017. I ended December 2017. I can still see the flare in my MRIs. I can still see its activity. So that's why I say I'm stable. So it's, it's inactive. It's hibernating. I like that. It's hibernating. In my early 30s is when I got started to get really fit and really into CrossFit and running and lifting. I lift because I enjoy it and I'm able to do it. Before it used to feel like work and now I'm like, look at what I can do. I'm so grateful. I feel strong when I lift heavy things or when I squat or put things over my head, like it makes me feel strong. I am strong. And I actually have to remind myself sometimes too, like you're lucky to feel this way and to be this way because not everyone has that. And once I started to wrap my head around it, I wanted to learn more and I'm really active on social media and that was a great help coping. I learned so much through other people. There's nothing quite like talking to other patients who kind of are in a similar boat and that's what I'm good at. Actually, a lot of organizations send new patients on to me. There's Immerman Angels, Head for the Cure, which I'm an ambassador for. There's the Twitter hashtag BTSM, which is Brain Tumor Social Media, ABTA, American Brain Tumor Association, MBTS, National Brain Tumor Society. I'm active with all those. You can't control a lot of things, but you can control how you approach it. I really live with that every day. Life is terminal. Regardless, everyone. That moment in that MRI machine, that moment with the diagnosis, that was like the, whoa, yeah, okay. So you might be on a little bit of a faster track than maybe your other friends and family. So live it up now, live it, don't pause.